Hello dear viewer, my name is Brian aka Jalanon and welcome to this video sharing my three favorite science fiction books on the Kindle Store. Have you wondered what the Kindle Store offers? Need a new science fiction book to read filled with new frontiers and exciting technological advances? Then this video recommendation is for you fellow bibliophile. My first recommendation for teens and adults would be We Are Legion, We Are Bob. Bobiverse Book 1 by Dennis Taylor. Here is the book's blurb from the Amazon Kindle store. Bob Johansson has just sold his software company and is looking forward to a life of leisure. There are places to go, books to read, and movies to watch. So it's a little unfair when he gets himself killed crossing the street. Bob wakes up a century later to find that corpsicles have been declared to be without rights, and he is now the property of the state. He has been uploaded into computer hardware and is slated to be the controlling AI in an interstellar probe looking for habitable planets. The stakes are high, no less than the first claim to entire worlds. If he declines the honor, he'll be switched off, and they'll try again with someone else. If he accepts, he becomes a prime target. There are at least three other countries trying to get their own probes launched first, and they play dirty. The safest place for Bob is in space, heading away from Earth at top speed. Or so he thinks, because the universe is full of nasties, and trespassers make them mad. Very mad. Bobiverse Book 1, We Are Legion, We Are Bob, is a fun little romp that really goes back to sci-fi's roots of having one really cool idea and exploring all the possibilities behind that idea. Now, the book actually starts with its first few pages basically hinting at what this is going to be, including the idea of von Neumann probes and uh, finding more biological life in the universe. So, it's pretty good, I would say. <laughs> it is my top list recommended book for a reason. It's fun, there's still good characters in it, which, frankly, are pretty much all Bob, but, you know, it's kind of hinted at in the title. There are curse words, so parents should know that. Uh, there are some harder subjects in there as well, such as, well, Humanity kind of wrecks the earth and needs to find new places to live, and Bob helps them out with that, etc, etc. Now, if you also have issues with maybe the morality of kind of copying somebody's personality and putting it into an artificial intelligence, and using that artificial intelligence to explore the galaxy, it's uh, that's one thing that is definitely explored throughout the series. There are currently three books you can read, and one audiobook in the Bobaverse. But uh, yeah, I read all the first three books and I did enjoy all of them. I would recommend We Are Legion, We Are Bob to readers who are tired of just dystopian sci-fi and want something with a little bit more adventure and hope to it. And basically some humor as well. Uh, so overall, I'd say if you're looking for a more lighthearted science fiction adventure, we Are Legion, We Are Bob is good. And there are still dark moments in there. There are still plot twists and things that I think people will still enjoy that will not be completely dystopian and sad and all that. So if you're looking for something a little bit more refreshing, I'd recommend We Are Legion, We Are Bob. Overall, I really like We Are Legion, We Are Bob. Uh, another thing to point out is that it doesn't just follow one perspective. It follows multiple bobs, basically. So that's pretty fun as well, as they explore the galaxy and find different things. So that keeps things fresh and interesting as you keep seeing new perspectives on the issues they're facing. Other than that, I would just say overall it's a great sci-fi adventure that does explore its subject matter very well. Once again, Von Neumann probes, basically. Artificial intelligence and exploring the galaxy and seeing what kinds of possibilities could arise. It also follows that very good sci-fi formula of there's humans, there are less advanced species, and a more advanced deadly species. So that's one of those golden rules of sci-fi that the Bobiverse does follow. Next on my list of science fiction recommendations would be Legionnaire, Galaxy's Edge, Book 1 by Jason Anspach and Nick Cole. So, to get it started, let me just read the blurb that they have on Amazon. 
The galaxy is a dumpster fire. A hot, stinking dumpster fire. And most days, I don't know if the legionnaires are putting out the flames or fanning them into an inferno. A hostile force ambushes Victory Company during a reconnaissance in force deep inside enemy territory. Stranded behind enemy lines, a sergeant must lead a band of survivors against merciless insurgents on a deadly alien world somewhere along the galaxy's edge. With no room for error, the Republic's elite fighting force must struggle to survive under siege while waiting on a rescue that might never come. Join Victory Company as they fight for their lives. When you think you've surrounded the Legion, you've just made your last mistake. Let's just say the book lives up to what it's promising in that little blurb. And overall, it's a good kind of military sci-fi in a way. And I guess the best way to describe it is kind of like how the authors describe it, where it's like, what would the stormtroopers serving the Empire, you know, actually be like and think like if they were more like real troops instead of just lame brains with terrible equipment? So... I think this is a pretty fun book to go through, but what parents should know about it is that, once again, it is pretty violent. They are legionnaires trying to uh, figure out what they should be doing against a rebellious force on a different world. And uh, yeah, that has a lot of different implications. There are politics involved, such as, hey, are we really doing the right thing? Or are we really, you know, taking out insurgents, blah, 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 etc., etc. So, yeah, yeah. It feels quite a bit, I would say, like Star Wars, at least further on in the series. Uh, the other book I've read in this one is Galactic Outlaws, where you follow Tyrus Rex and Captain Keel around the galaxy as they both try to chase down this kind of enigmatic mysterious dude named Goth Solus. So yeah, overall, I don't know too much about the Galaxy's Edge series as a whole. There are currently 10 books. I do know the authors are pretty amazing at how they do it. Like they take turns where one of them will spend two weeks writing one of the books and the other guy will like spend the next two weeks editing it apparently. And then they'll just release the book and they're pretty good. So I've really enjoyed it, and I do look forward to reading more of them in the future. Uh, I don't know when I will be able to do that, but I hope it will be soon. That's all I can say about that. Once again, it's kind of like Star Wars, where it's in another galaxy, as far as I know. And there aren't really too many curse words that I remember that would be, you know, our common Earth language, or languages. And so, yeah, I don't remember too many curse words. I'm sure there are a few. And once again, it is pretty violent. So I would definitely recommend for adults, even over just teenagers. Um, but I think teenagers could probably read this as well. I just suggest parents take a look at it first, see what they think. The nice thing about the Kindle is that you can literally just open the book and then type in curse words and see if they pop up. So that's one way to do it. <laughs> you know. That's one way to do it. But uh, yeah, once again, Legionnaire, Galaxy's Edge, book one. It's pretty good. And the guys are continuing to pump out books. So if you enjoy it, then I think you will continue to enjoy it. And once again, I would say it feels kind of like almost one of those Vietnam veteran type books where, you know, you, you really see what it's like when your boots are on the ground in this conflict and how people are living in it, reacting to it, what they're doing in it. Galactic Outlaws felt a lot more like Star Wars than Legionnaire did, in my opinion, where uh, you kind of have that Han Solo type character combined with a Boba Fett type character, and they both rock. So, you know, they do pretty cool stuff. So honestly, that might be a better jumping off point than Legionnaire, but if you like the military sci-fi feel, then I would say Legionnaire is probably the better jumping off point. Plus, it is Galaxy's Edge Book 1. So, if you like numbers being in the correct sequence, I would also recommend starting with Legionnaire. The next book I'm recommending is not the last book. I do have an extra one at the end of this, but the next book I recommend is Terms of Enlistment 
Frontlines, Book One, by Marco Clues. Here's the blurb on it. The year is 2108, and the North American Commonwealth is bursting at the seams. For welfare rats like Andrew Grayson, there are only two ways out of the crime-ridden and filthy welfare tenements. You can hope to win the lottery and draw a ticket on a colony ship, settling off-world. Or you can join the circus. With the colony lottery at Pipe Dream, Andrew chooses to enlist in the armed forces for a shot at real food, a retirement bonus, and maybe a ticket off Earth. But as he starts a career of supposed privilege, he soon learns that the good food and decent health care come at a steep price, and that the settled galaxy holds far greater dangers than military bureaucrats or the gangs that rule the slums. The debut novel from Marco Clues, Terms of Enlistment, is an addition to the great military sci-fi tradition of Robert Heinlein, Joe Haldeman, and John Scalzi. So as you can see, I went on a bit of a military sci-fi kick when I uh, first signed up for Kindle Unlimited. But uh, yeah, basically, Terms of Enlistment is military sci-fi, and it's a harder military sci-fi than Legionnaire, where it's far more realistic. Legionnaire was just kind of cool, Star Wars-y. You know, it doesn't really explain the science. It just says, oh, here's this cool science thing we have. And this is, you know, we just use it in our daily lives. Whereas Terms of Enlistment is more like, yes, we have this cool science thing. This is why it was developed. And these are the problems we are trying to solve with it. Earth is kind of dying out. And so humanity is trying to expand. And uh, there are some complications with that. I would say Terms of Enlistment and the entire series of Frontlines is definitely more adult, even, than probably anything else on this recommendations list. Uh, there are curse words, there are some gory scenes, and all that jazz. So I would definitely say this one is for adults. Uh, I probably would say older teens, maybe, depending on what parents think. Um, frankly, they've probably read similar stuff in high school based on what they recommended to me in high school but uh yeah yeah i would say it is definitely a harder military sci-fi for those who like that and overall you will probably enjoy it if you've enjoyed military sci-fi in the past i mean there's a reason that this book has you know even as a debut novel really become well loved and it has over 4,000 <laughs> ratings on amazon so yeah as George R. R. Martin says in the blurb, above the blurb, I should say, there's nobody who does military sci-fi better than Marco Clues. And hopefully I'm saying that name correctly. His Frontline series is a worthy successor to such classics as Starship Troopers, The Forever War, and We All Died at Breakaway Station. If you enjoy these harder sci-fi tales where you really get into one character's head, see the world through their eyes, their experiences, how the military works, how it's organized, how the equipment matters and what people think about it, then I really believe you'll enjoy Terms of Enlistment and probably the rest of the series as well. I've read about five or six of the books. I think I've read up to six. He's releasing seven at some point. Um, right now it's on pre-order. At the very least, that shows you it's been successful as a series and that people have liked it. And once again, if you enjoy military sci-fi, military novels, and you kind of might just be starting into science fiction, I would recommend Terms of Enlistment as a good starter. And now on to our next recommendation. This final recommendation is Winter World, The Long Winter Trilogy Book One by A.G. Riddle. The blurb goes as follows. A new ice age and a shocking discovery will change humanity forever. From the Amazon charts and Wall Street Journal best-selling author with over 4 million copies sold worldwide comes an epic novel with an unforgettable twist, long listed for the Wilbur Smith Award for Best Published Novel. In the near future, a new ice age has begun. Humanity stands on the brink of extinction. Desperate for answers, scientists send probes into the solar system to take readings. Near Mars, they identify a mysterious object moving toward the sun. Is it the cause of the ice age? Or could it be humanity's only hope of survival? With time running out, NASA launches a mission to make contact. But the object isn't what anyone thought. In the dark of space, alone, the team makes a discovery that will change the course of human history and possibly end it. 
filled with real science and fascinating details, Winterworld is that unique blend of fact and fiction that could completely change how you see our planet and humanity's future. For those intrepid souls starting this best-selling trilogy, be warned, you may well be up late into the night turning pages. What parents would be concerned about with the Winter World? Um, I would say there are curse words, that's one. Two, it actually starts out in a prison in a very tense situation. Uh, that will be further explained as you read the book, but there are some bad dudes in that prison. So, I would say the book should probably be mostly for adults. I mean, older teens could probably read it, um, as there's not anything too, too bad in there or anything that I remember. So, once again, I would recommend parents check it out themselves, but honestly, this one is probably less adult in terms of enlistment. Uh, there is more science fiction in this, and more, like, current science, as the blurb was stating. It is true. So, if you really like seeing kind of what would be the next step of today's technology, and seeing how that gets implemented, then I think you would really like Winter World. Uh, there are good characters in it as well. You get to see different perspectives. There are some pretty good plot twists and things in there. I did not finish the series, but I did finish book two and about half of book three before my subscription ended. So I am hoping when I have some more cash that I will be able to continue the subscription. But for now, alas, I don't know the ending. So in the future though i am hoping to finish the series and i think it does live up to its hype for book one book two is slower in my opinion uh, so just be a little bit prepared for that um but there are some more interesting conflicts in book two on earth that happen so there's that hmm so overall yeah i think it is well worth a look and once again if you like kind of science fiction going from today's technology to the next step and seeing possibilities there. If you kind of like seeing how we would respond to an alien intelligence, hopefully I'm not ruining anything, uh, with current technology and seeing what we could do with that and seeing how that timeline would play out in a non-boring way, even though it would take a lot of time, then I recommend Winter World. And yeah. I do think A.G. Riddle did a good job, and I think one guy explains this pretty well, that it reads like a superior collaboration between Dan Brown and Michael Crichton, according to The Guardian on Pandemic. That's beneath the blurb on Amazon, in case you want to read that yourself. But yeah, I think that's a pretty good idea of how it reads, because you do get like that good character-driven narrative that Dan Brown have, but you have the science fiction of Michael Crichton. So, yes, I would say pretty much geared towards adults. Older teens could probably read it just fine and not be too bored or anything. Um, and yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot, which is why I kept reading the series. <laughs> uh, I would say book three was the one that started to lose my interest as much, but I think that's more on me than anything. Uh, simply because I was kind of tired at the time. <laughs> Overall, I think these books are a good step into the science fiction genre on the Kindle store, especially the Kindle Unlimited. And yeah, overall, I've enjoyed my steps into all of these. They are in general geared towards adults, you know that going in. And once again, for parents, uh, there are curse words in there. There's gore in legionnaire terms of enlistment i think winter world has some as well i don't believe there's too much in we are legion we are bob but it has been a while since i've finished that book i am rereading it as we are speaking and i do enjoy it so i did buy it with my own money actually i enjoyed it that much i hope you've enjoyed these recommendations dear viewer leave a like if you've enjoyed this video Subscribe to see more reading recommendations and reviews. And let me know in the comments below what you think. And have a great day, dear viewer.